Pacific Northwest can seem a mysterious land often shrouded in clouds and mist. It stretches from ocean to mountains to an often arid interior. It's a place where nature speaks. The roar of ocean waves, thunder of waterfalls, gurgle of streams, and the whisper of wind in a forest. There's the song of birds, the chatter of squirrels, the chirp of crickets, and the jubilant chorus of frogs. There are sparkling blue lakes and tall forests of spruce, hemlock, and fir. Mother Nature paints the landscape with her artistry, dappling it with her autumn palette of reds, oranges, and yellows. The denizens of these wildlands include bears, mountain lions, mountain goats, eagles, elk and deer, and the occasional playful otter. Mountain peaks disappear into the clouds, clouds that linger for days, weeks, or even months. But on the occasions when the clouds dissipate and the rain and drizzle and wind stop and blue skies prevail once again, it can be a most heavenly place to be found right here on Earth, such as the mystique of the Pacific Northwest. Rock Hopper here, looking for a loop trail that'll take you to some of the most spectacular scenery in the Pacific Northwest? I've got one for you. They weren't kidding when they said this was a real popular trail on the weekends. Look at this crowd, it's only nine something in the morning. If it's a weekend and you don't get here real early, forget about parking in the lot at the trailhead. Instead, park along the highway. The hike we'll be doing today is a 7.5 mile loop. If you do the entire loop, that is. I love hiking. Probably only one thing I don't like about it, and that's sore feet at the end of the day. That's why I'm glad I partnered with Cushy Fix insoles. These durable foam insoles have honeycomb gel in the heel and additional closed cell foam in the heel and ball of the foot for added shock absorption and comfort while walking. Cushy Fix insoles keep my feet comfy and add support and help alleviate any plantar fasciitis that I might have. And when you purchase through the link on my channel, you'll get 10% off every order. Let your shoes and boots take the punishment and not your feet. Cushy Fix, insoles in it for the long haul, and the long hike. This is the beginning of the Maple Pass Trail. And it'll take us up eventually to Maple Pass. It takes you through a forest of silver fir, hemlock, and numerous other tree species, as well as different kinds of plants in this forest community. Here's a sure sign that you might just be in the Pacific Northwest. Rocks coated in moss and trees coated with lichen. You might find a few impediments to your progress like this fallen log that you'll have to climb over and big logs that sometimes you have to go around. Every once in a while you come across an abundance of ferns here in the forest. Pretty to look at, but you don't want to touch these. They're Devil's Club, and they have a very spiky stalk. It's too late in the season to find any salmon berries on the vine, but if you need a quick snack, you can have a leaf of fireweed. Every once in a while, you'll see a really big tree that looks like it just might be an old growth one like this one. The seasons, they are a-changing. 
It was about 34 degrees at 8 in the morning today. So it's getting pretty chilly. But hopefully it's going to warm up a bit here now. This is the first little opening along the trail. A little meadow. And you get a bit of a vista here. The fall colors are creeping in. Little by little. This fireweed looks like it's on fire with those beautiful red colors. Look at how that red contrasts with the green of the thimbleberry. The trail continues up a gradual incline through the forest. And it's really not that steep, not too bad. A few rocks along the trail, a few roots and things like that, but it's, for the most part, pretty good. Just so you know, you can't camp near the lakes or the passes. We're starting to get a little bit higher in elevation here, and the vistas are starting to open up. This is our first view of Lake Anne down below. Looks like there's a little island in the middle. If you look closely, you can see where the trail goes and all the little tiny people that are hiking along it. Another view of Lake Anne. You can see the island down there a little bit better. It's warming up, so I did shed a layer. And I'm here at Heather Pass, and I'm going to continue up the trail toward Maple Pass. The higher we go, the more fall color we start to see. This is what it looks like slightly above Heather Pass. And just about 100 yards beyond, we come up to this, and this is looking like a really good vista. talked to a guy he was asking me what kind of animal he got a picture of on his phone it turned out to be a pine martin and he was super lucky because the martin had like a grouse or some bird in its jaws so it was having its breakfast or you know it was about to and if you like pine martins check out my thumbnail that says the mighty magruder i think the vistas are pretty good here what do you guys think rambling through the fall color here and we'll be exploring this paradise so keep watching looks like we're coming up to the top of maple pass more mountain views it's like there's mountains in every direction here i just caught a glimpse of some major alpine peaks let's get a closer look on that Mountains, mountains everywhere. This is so cool, I just thought I'd give you a 360 degree panoramic view of the entire scene so you can have a look for yourself. taken in the view. Now entering North Cascades National Park. Hey, hey, we've got some larches starting to turn colors. Well, yellow anyway. A little more of the Maple Pass area for you. Still have some remnant snow fields here. And there's our trail, the one we'll be going down, heading back. It's switchback time. Down, 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 we're going to be going. If you do the trail in a counterclockwise direction, you'll have a lot of steep downhill at the very end. Well, not the very end exactly, but you will have some steep downhill toward the end.
It turned out to be a really nice day today. Probably warmed up to about 60 degrees, but being in the sun, it felt warmer than that. And uh, luckily, there wasn't much wind. So it's it's been overall a pretty good hiking day. Not bad for September, as the weather here can turn kind of nasty on occasion. Looks like those pine cones are sugar-coated. And I think that's Ann Lake down there. The trail is somewhat steep at times, and it switches back and forth on occasion. And we're dropping back down into the forest now. The views just keep on coming. Overlooking Rainy Lake. Rainy Lake could be your paddle boarding paradise. That bird just landed on my hand. I'm not kidding you. More fall color for you. So these two in front of me actually saw a bear. It must have been a black bear. What did you guys see out there? It was a brown bear, actually. <laughs> A brown bear as in like grizzly or what? Um, no, we were told it was not a grizzly. So he's like a kind of a cinnamon color, maybe. Yeah. Yep, definitely brown. And there's a picture of the cinnamon colored bear right there mm -hmm. on her phone. We're back into the big green forest once again. And that brings us back okay. to the asphalt the parking lot, and the end of the trail. I hope you enjoyed hiking up Maple Pass in the North Cascades of Washington with me. Don't forget, give me a like on the video, share, and subscribe. And if you don't mind, please click on my next video and check it out too. Until next time, this is Rock Hopper. I'll see ya.